It's the new league season, and what better way to start it off than to turning these badass Velcro vans into bowling shoes. Let's do it. First, we're gonna take some 180 grit sandpaper. You can get away with six, but you're gonna sand, sand, sand. And you just wanna scuff them up. Just enough so you have something for the glue to adhere to. Because if you don't do this, then you might have some fucking problems. And you don't want problems. Not on the bowling alley floor. Nope, nope, nope. I can fuck you up. Oh, yeah. I do it to both shoes, but the normal bowler will only have to do it to their slide foot, which if you're right-handed, it's your left foot. If you're left-handed, it's your right foot, okay? But I do both my shoes, so. But for the normal bowler, you're only gonna need one. But you're gonna sand, sand, sand. Sand, sand, sand. And after you sand, 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 you're gonna take some super glue gel. I use Gorilla Gel. And the reason why I use gel is because it takes just a little bit longer to dry than the regular super glue. So you take your gel, and you take your shoes, and you take this glue right here, and you go across every single one of these. So you go kind of, might help if I, uh, Shook it up a little before I did this. All right, you're gonna go all around the edges. Do, 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 do. You're gonna do the, I do the edge first. So I go all around the edge like so. Put it on kind of thick. All right, and then I put it on very lightly through all the waffle, all the waffle. Every little piece of waffle. But you want to make sure you get it all over. And you don't want to mess a spot because if it starts to peel and you're on the bowling alley floor and that shit peels, you're fucked. Also, wear a respirator. This shit burns your fucking eyeballs. But you know me, I don't give a fuck. Why don't I give a fuck? Because I'm ready to die. Okay? Alright. But we're gonna go ahead and do this like so. And once we get it all over the place, make sure, like I said, it's everywhere. Everywhere. Make sure you get it all real good around the edges. Make sure it's all over the sides. Literally everywhere. Once you have it everywhere, be careful. Put the lid back on your super glue so it doesn't dry out. Then you're gonna take some industrial strength Velcro. This holds 10 pounds. And you're gonna cut them into strips the same length as your shoe. And you're gonna peel these bitches off like so. Peel the backs off, motherfuckers. Come on, man. I ain't got time for this shit. All right. Fuck! Get off me! Anyways, once you have this, this shoe's a little wonky to work with, unlike the other vans, just because the Velcro strips. So you're going to make sure and put this bitch halfway. Halfway. Then you're gonna take your other piece 
Make sure it's halfway, like I said, because each one of these is four. Each one of these is two inches wide, so it's four inches wide total. If your foot's wider than that, you might want to buy some wider fucking Velcro. But for me, this shit works just fine. Make sure you have it all on your shoe like so. Make sure you have it all on that bitch. let that dry. Me, since I'm doing two shoes instead of one shoe, I'm gonna do it on both shoes. So but this is what it's gonna look like. Stay around for part two. All right, instead of trying to bang it on your shoe, tap it like this, then open it. And all your glue will be ready to come out. Like, boop. And you, like I said, you just go all around the edge of the shoe. Super thick. All the trim. I put it on super thick so whenever you go to push down the Velcro, it spreads out. That kind of just pissed me off a little bit. But I'm not gonna get mad. We're just gonna get glad. Like I said, wear a respirator. This shit burns your eyes, your lungs. Super glue ain't no joke. All right, I'm not gonna let y'all watch all this, but I'm gonna, I'll be back. All right, now we're gonna take a fresh razor blade, still in oil, and we're gonna take the first one that we did, and we're gonna trim all this off. And the way I like to do it is I like to do it from the top, and I just come over here, go right around the edge of the shoe, boop, like so, fuck. I bumped the two shoes together. I got both the Velcro stuff. And this is industrial string Velcro. This is not the cheap crap. This is some good stuff. So it is sticky. So that stickiness plus super glue ain't no fucking joke. But yeah, you'll peel it off just like so. I got a trash bag right there. But see how it trims the edges of the shoe. And you do that all the way around. And when I get to the very tip, you're gonna get some weird edges like this. So if you want, you can literally just trim it like so. And just take little pieces off at a time. But yeah, you just literally do this all the way around the fucking shoe. Dee -dee -dee. A lot of people use X-Acto knives, I've noticed. To do this. I do not like using a Zecto knife. The reason why is because I always cut the sole of the shoe when I do that. Where when I use a big razor blade like this, I can glide this flat edge right across the edge of the shoe. If that makes sense. 
where an X-Acto knife is just a straight blade. And I have used X-Acto knives before, but like I said, the problem with X-Acto knives, in my opinion, is you constantly clip the edge of the shoe, taking the rubber with you. And I don't wanna do that. So yeah. So yeah. All right. Now what I'm gonna do, I wasn't planning on doing this. Normally this is all I do, but I'm gonna think I'm gonna trim out the bottom part where it says vans. It's gonna be kind of tricky because I don't remember what it looked like and I didn't get a photo of it. But I think I'm gonna cut it out. Just because there's a dit and normally vans are flat on the bottom. Normally they're super flat down here, but this one has a little indent in it. All right, and that's how it's done. I did the little vans cut out. So yeah, this is going to be my new league season bowling shoe. I gotta do the other one now. Fuck my life. Shouldn't be too hard. The other one didn't take very long. It works a lot easier when you have a fresh razor blade though. I will say that much. I've done this with a dual razor blade and it takes twice as long. This one's not too bad. Do, 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 do. Do, do. Sick. Sick as fuck. And also, if any of you want me to custom make you some bowling shoes, you can contact me or DM me directly and I can turn just about any shoe into a bowling shoe. I can, I can, I can, I have. And yeah, so just DM me if you're in the bowling and you want a custom shoe made. Cause you think how you think bowling shoes are ugly too. Even house shoes are ugly as fuck. But if you think bowling shoes are ugly the way I do, and you want something custom, seriously DM me. Cause we can make it happen. And that, my friend, I got super glue all over my fucking hands, and this is not gonna be fun. Oh shit! I put the razor blade up, and I got still gotta cut the bottom out. Yeah, that's that part of it. The other one I could feel. This one I can't see shit. So, just gonna cut a little D out. Perfect. Now I can see a lot better. So, yeah, we're gonna get that shit started. Go over here. Do 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 It's league season. New leagues is started. It's time to get all your fucking custom shit in. Your bowling balls, get them ordered. If you need help ordering a bowling ball, hit me up. I can help you. If you need custom shoes, hit me up. I can help you. If you're just wanting to get into bowling because you've always liked it but don't know how to get started, hit me up. I it cut off, but hit me up. I can help you. Yeah, all right, we got both of the shoes done. Dun, 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 dun. Now we're gonna put our razor blade up, handy dandy razor blade, and put that back where it goes. Oh, I just cut my finger. I just cut my finger. Here's a razor blade sticking out. That sucks. All right, now I'm going to show you what else you're gonna need after you get done making your shoe. Uh, you are going to need, well, maybe, 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 Ooh. what the hell, man? What the hell, man? Alright, I'm gonna cut this video.
Pinelli, give me a second. I'm gonna cut this and come back. Now, depending on the lane condition, some alleys are crazy slick. Like, for example, Whitewood in Lubbock, Texas, crazy slick. South Plains can be sticky, can be slick. Um, that's also in Lubbock, Texas. Um, uh, main event, yeah, can be slick, can be sticky. Um, Diamond Lanes can be slick, can be sticky. Eastridge lanes, uh, they're they're not slick, but they're not sticky. They're like they're right in between. Anyways, depending on your lane condition, my fellow ladies and gentlemen, you're going to need some of these. And what sucks is I just noticed that the little zipper pouch on my zipper pouch, the zipper is missing. So we're just gonna have to open this shit up and find something else to put them in. But you're going to need some of these. A 10, crazy, crazy. They're 12, super slick, 10, super slick. I like to use the 10 and 11 right in between these two. And then I like to use an eight on my other foot. Um, but the way we're going to do this is we're going to take, I've already cut these out, but if you don't have this already, you're going to just literally stick the pad on the shoe and then trim it out and make sure it fits. This one has to go on my other foot, so I did that backwards. Oopsie day. Oh, no, I got another one. Where the fuck's my other one? Where's my other one? No, no, no. Anyways, it's in. We're going to put this out right here. So we'll have the tin. Or like I said, you could do the 10, 12, the 10, 11, 12. That's the one that I normally use the most of. So we'll do the 10, 11, 12. And then I like to use this little, I like to use the same kind of pad on the fucking heel. A lot of people don't. I do. And boom, you got a ball in the shoe. And then on this one, like I said, I got to go find my other one. But I have one for the left shoe. And it'll go on the same way, just like so. But opposite. And then I used the red one on that to stop it. But yeah, that, my friends, is how you make a bowling shoe. Enjoy. Yeah, I've made bowling shoes before. I've made tons of them. These are some Vans Customs that I made. Yeah, these are the ones that I normally use. So we're going to take this one off and this one off. And I'm going to show you how my shoes look when I get done. I buy the oversized ones. I always buy oversized pads. And the reason why I do that is because, like I said, it'll cover up that little flap that's missing. And then I use S4 on the heel. For the stop pad. So boom, there's that shoe. Done. And then this one, I just do eights on all of it. So my eight, I have an eight on this foot. And then I do an eight on the heel as well. And then boom, bowling shoes. These are going to be my new lane shoes for this season. I'm pretty fucking stoked about it. Like I said, though, if anybody wants to get into bowling or they want me to make them a custom pair of shoes, hit me up. Like I said, I can turn anything into a bowling shoe. I can even turn these ugly fucking brooks into a bowling shoe. All I got to do is just grind all that down, make it flat, and boom, done. Literally anything. I can turn I can turn stilettos into a bowling shoe. Um, wouldn't recommend it, but I could do it. But... Seriously, if anybody needs some shoes, anybody needs some ball advice, or they need some bowling balls, hit me up. If you need literally anything bowling at all, 
hit me up and I can help you. And if I cannot help you, I can point you to someone who can. So definitely hit me up and let's get on the fucking lanes, ladies and gentlemen. Peace.